Hey, Mrs. Caddy. Here's my last assignment for the year. I do. Hmm. Congrats, Leonardo. You did good. But I'm afraid it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Uh, why? Because you failed. You're being retained. What? Are you serious? How? Look, you've literally only attended school three times this year. Three. Leonardo, what did you expect? I've been out saving the damn world from ghosts and stuff. I'm sorry? Oh man, I feel so bad for him. So, how'd you do? Yeah, I failed. Oh man, that sucks. Sorry, kiddo. Yeah, but we gotta hurry up and get to training. We can think about this later. Shano. What? May I have a glass of water? Oh, <laughs> I know you're just trying to get out of your trial. I'm not falling for it. I'm on to you, lady. What in the devil are you on about, fool? I requested a- La 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 la, I'm not listening, I'm not listening. So, what a child. Ah, oh no, the paradaisy. Gotcha. We need this baby to communicate between realms. Chino, what are you doing? Yeah. Whoa, well, don't drop the paradaisy. We need this baby to communicate between realms. So, Chadra, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, just having a jolly one sitting here, thinking of how many ways I'll be punished. Captain. Why'd you say captain like that? Just a week ago when I saw you, you were a lieutenant, and now you're a captain. Hey, General Thunderdog chose me to be a captain. It wasn't my choice, blame him. Besides, I'm a pretty banging captain, you feel me? No, I don't feel ya. For a bloke who's such a bangin' captain, as you say, your spectres sure do reflect your character. A half-witted man-child. Hey, Missy, I've got a few words for you. Enough! Captain Nectar of Queen Busby's division, why are you taking orders from General Thunderdog? Because his division has much more to offer. In terms of money, that is. Greedy bastard. Hey. Spectre business isn't just about protecting people and traveling through universes. We gotta get paid doing this. You've known me for about 75 years. You know how I get down. Polymena told me that you would execute Leonardo. Is he okay? Yeah, no. We spared him. We wanted to take him out initially because he possesses way too much spiritual energy. And that's dangerous, not just for the race, but for us as well. But General Thunderdog changes not on that. Now, we've got to teach you everything in the Spectral Core, down to the last detail. First, 
I'll tell you about the general structure of a division. Firstly, everyone has to listen to King Tish of the Primal Kingdom. He's the leader of all of us. But first, there's the recruit, who are the newest, like you. You're a recruit. Then, you got your regular Spectral soldiers. Not much to say about them. Then, you got your lieutenants, who command the soldiers. Usually, there's about two to three. Sometimes, there might even be a corporal working with them. Then, there's the general, the commander of the entire division. There's thousands of generals in the Primal Kingdom. But as of right now, there's currently six that are well known. It's me, General Thunderhawk, Commander of the Skies, General Busby, or Queen Busby, Commander of the Sun, General Podgeworth, Commander of the Moon, General Hurricane, Commander of the Seas, General Thunderdog, Commander of the Stars, and lastly, General James, or Prince James, King of the Jungle, and we are the six generals of the Spectral Corps. Well, the six most well known, that is. Also, there are the five secretaries, but everyone just forgets they exist. Now that we have that out of the way, on to the other information you need to know. Hey, no need. Thanks to my invention right here, which loads all the information into your brain at a very fast pace at once. Here, put it on. Thank God I know how to construct things like this. Yeah, yeah, ah! Why are you screaming so loud? This hurts so bad! Alright, I forgot to tell you. You're gonna feel excruciating pain for the next, uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Don't mind me, I'll just be here doing some cyber division training. Hey, hey there, baby girl. My name's Flutter. I'm Lieutenant Chadra's Corporal. So we're going to teach you to contain some of that power you got. For one, we need to get you some crown to make sure you don't get any unwanted thoughts. Understand that being a specter of the primal kingdom means you put the citizen's life before your own. Well, uh, first, do you want to... change? Oh yeah, sure, I really want to get out of this group shirt. Oh, mommy. What the? Not here, Savannah. Are you crazy? We're not at home. Oh my god, right. I'm so sorry. Oh no, baby girl. Please feel free. My oh my, I'm gonna act a fool tonight. Shut the hell up, Flutter. What do you think, Detective Flipper? How much potential do you think the boy has? He's probably already heard this a bunch of times, but he has the potential to be stronger than the generals. Even the strongest in the spectral realm. It's almost frightening. Worry not, he's in good hands. Hey, you know you didn't have to make all that noise, right? Oh, sorry, I was too busy getting my brain fried. You know there's a button on the back of that device that you could have pressed that would have numbed your brain and made everything painless, right? No, I didn't know that because you didn't tell me. How was I supposed to know that? Hi, Leonardo. I'm Sweet Pea, your next test. Right, so, Leonardo, we're going to test your spectral swordsmanship. There should have been about 40 years of swordsman experience loaded into your brain. Let's see it. Your test... It's a defeat, Corporal Sweet Pea. Uh, the she? Don't! I forgot to tell you. She's nearly as fast as a captain. Hey, I 
reacted to it successfully. So does that mean that I'm that fast? Actually, you're much faster than that. You just need to tap into that power. Every time she's finished attacking, she resets by stepping back and away. And when she wants to attack again, she steps in, fakes a stab to the chest, and follows up with a strike to the head. I can time her encounter in between. Aw oh, man, haha, <laughs> you got me! Good job, Leonardo! Good. That's it. This is your final test. You must fully undergo spiritual cleansing. Where all of your sin and negative emotions are completely washed away and you will be reborn. You must let go of everything. Also, there's a 50-50 chance your soul might be destroyed. Destroyed? What? Yeah. The Void has intense levels of spiritual energy that's strong enough to crush an entire moon. But, if you come out alive, you will be a specter. Good luck.